Hey everybody, my name's Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you like fragrance-related content, like first impressions, uh, full in-depth reviews, top 10 lists, and free fragrance giveaways and fragrance haul videos, make sure you show your support by clicking that red subscribe button right now for to support the channel. And make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements as well. Today we're talking about a fragrance from the house of Christian Dior, my favorite designer fragrance house. You guys know I love Dior fragrances in general. Um, so we're talking about their less exclusive line. So these like their uh, private line kind of fragrance like Tom Ford has, but this is their pre line. I know the line has been changed to Christian Dior line. And nevertheless, we're talking about a new release and it's called The Back Color. I have a little sample here I got off of a seller on eBay. I bought from before, he's a great seller. I'll leave his link down below, 100% um, authentic and everything. So price point, you're looking at about $250 for a 4.2 five ounce bottle. So it's about a 125 ml bottle. I'll show a picture of the bottle on the screen here so you can see what it looks like. If you want the bigger size, double that amount, it's gonna cost you $350 for a 8.5 ounce and that's a 250 mil. So best bang for your buck, either one you get. I know people get the bigger bottles that have more bang for your buck, but I think 125 is enough for anybody that's just a common fragrance sprayer and that's it. No breakdown. So we have tobacco, we have peach, we have citrus, plum, amber, honey, smoky notes. Let's spray this right now. Let you know how I feel about it. So the sample cost me, I think it was like, I think it was $14, $13 for the sample. It wasn't that expensive. I'll leave the link down below to the eBay seller. Uh, I came fast, I got like in two days shipping. Um, so it was really good. Oh my God, it smells so good. I love this one. Now you know me, it, it takes a lot for me to love a fragrance. I smelled this and my girlfriend smelled it because I sprayed it on her skin, sprayed it on my skin. I got this about a week ago. I love it. So let me describe the fragrance for you. It opens up with the tobacco. You get the tobacco and you get the smokiness in the background. So you definitely get that tobacco smokiness. On my skin, I get like a very fresh, like I just um, lighted a fresh cigar, which is pretty cool to me. I smoke cigars, not all the time, more special occasions like the 4th of July or celebrating something special in my life. You get peach in the fragrance as well. But to me personally, um, the peach is there, so you get that fruitiness in the fragrance. I don't pick up a lot of plum on my skin. I wore it for about four days straight. I didn't pick up a lot of plum. On my girlfriend's skin, I get the peach and I get some plum, but mainly more of the fruits with the peach on my skin. If you don't like peach, you may not like this fragrance, but definitely it's well blended with the tobacco. Um, and then there's honey in the fragrance as well. So. The honey comes in it maybe towards the middle of the fragrance and more towards the dry down of the fragrance. There's a powderiness in this fragrance here. Um, I have a full review when I buy the bottle, but I'm just giving you my first impressions of how many days I've worn and let you know if it's worth it or not. So please keep that in mind. Dry down of the fragrance. I get the, still get the honey. And I get the smokiness in the fragrance here. I feel like there might be some patchouli in the fragrance, even though it's not listed as a note, but I do pick up some patchouli in the background. At, you know, that's just me, because I smell a lot of fragrances that have patchouli in it, but just, it's not listed note breakdown. Sometimes some fragrances don't list all the notes, so if you pick up patchouli or another note, it might be in there. Christian Dior doesn't list all the notes. You know, you don't want to give away all your notes in a fragrance, but projection, easy, two to three hours, it pushes full arms length and I did four sprays. I think that was too many sprays, but it's heavy. The first two to three hours, very heavy. So please keep that in mind. Some people say they don't get a heavy projection. I know on my skin, I took a shower and within like 15 minutes, I dried off of the shower, put some lotion on, and then I sprayed my spray and it was like, boom. The longevity for the fragrance, me, easy. Easy getting whole day's worth. I'm talking 10, 12 hours plus. Literally, I, I wore it to work one time Easy went through 12 hours. Now I'm not saying it's beast mode for 12 hours. The, I would say it's strong for the first one to six hours. It's very strong off my skin where I can catch whiffs of it. By the six hour mark, it does calm down some, but it's still present. When you put your hand up like this, you can still smell. You don't have to dig your nose in it. Put your hand up like this, you can still smell it from a distance. Um, by like the 12 hour mark, it is getting, getting close and close, but 
I'm talking 12 hours of longevity. And you know, a lot of fragrances don't give you that, especially for this price point. The price point is expensive. Yes, it's 250 for a 125 ml bottle. Dior did raise their prices, so it's 25, it's uh, $30 more this year. I don't understand it. I love you, Dior, but there's no need for it. This fragrance does remind me of three other fragrances. I'm just gonna get out the way now. I'm not saying they're clones. I'm not saying it's inspiration. I'm saying these fragrances have some similar notes, so please keep that in mind. I smelled all these fragrances before I smelled this bottle. So it has similarity with the tobacco with uh, 1821 Man Made. I have that fragrance, so I kind of know about that fragrance. It has similarities to that. It has similarities to By Killian. I uh, shout out to my boy Louisiana Fragrance. Now he didn't want me to say that, but I have to say it. Um, I enjoy talking to you, bro. Be safe. I'll talk to you soon. But it has that By Killian back to black. And what I mean by that is it has that honey. And if you like the note of the honey and the powderiness in that fragrance, you're gonna like this fragrance here. Now, the last fragrance I'm gonna talk about is a fragrance that a lot of people like. Tom. Uh, Tom Ford Tobacco Vinny. I love Tom Ford Tobacco Vinny. I know a lot of people don't love it. it. has that dry fruit in it. And I get that dry fruit comes from with that, the fruitiness and with the plum and the peach. It gives it that fruitiness, dryness. That's where I got this fragrance here. Is it a sweet fragrance? I would say it's sweet. It's not overly sweet. I feel like there's sweetness in it, but I feel like the tobacco and the smokiness covers the whole fragrance where it could be a manly scent but with the plum and honey i can see somebody saying it it, it has that fem, uh, uh, female kind of touch this is a, a heavy tobacco smoky kind of fragrance and i love wearing this one my girlfriend likes it too so i'm definitely going to buy a 125 ml bottle you don't need many sprays if you buy this bottle i i literally promise you i don't want to promise i'm going to promise anyway you're probably gonna keep the bottle for a good three, four years. You only need maybe one or two sprays. You don't have to go heavy on the trigger unless it does perform on your skin. Let me be me honest here. If it doesn't perform on your skin, you might need four or five sprays. I did four sprays and it was too much. I felt like I was choking myself out in my car. You know, kind of funny, but I love this fragrance by the house of Christian Dior tobacco color. It's gonna make my list um, in the fall and winter time. Guarantee it'll either be number one, number two, it'll be in the top five. It's, it's that good. Now, I'm not saying you go rush out and buy, blind buy it. Pick up a sample like I did. I wasn't gonna blind buy it because I'm a reviewer, so, you know, it, I have to review stuff for the channel, so I'll take a loss, but you as a consumer, give a sample. I'll leave a link down below, buy it, and see if you like it. I think if you like those similar fragrances I was talking about, you're gonna enjoy this fragrance here. Now, is it redundant to own this if you have those? At some similarity, I feel like you don't need this if you have those three fragrances, but if you're running low on them and you wanna have an alternative saying, hey, you know what? I wanna sell these three and buy that, go ahead, or you're running low on them, then buy the bottle, but just keep in mind it has similarity. It's not a clone, it's not inspiration, it just smells similar with those kind of fragrances because I smell those fragrances over and over again and it has similarities to it. And I love this one pronounced Christian Dior. It's a banger, uh, French de Machi, the perfumer made it. I think he's an awesome perfumer in general. I hope one day to meet him, but nevertheless, definitely check this fragrance out. I think you're gonna like it if you like a sweet, tobacco, heavy fragrance for the fall and winter. Thanks for watching another fragrance video. If you like fragrance related content like this, top 10 list, first impressions, full in depth reviews, fragrance haul, and participate in free fragrance giveaway, make sure you click that red subscribe button down below. I really do appreciate that. And make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway now as well. I'll see you guys next video. My number one house, Christian Dior. I love it. Peace.